Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and yes, hands on on the Dell Latitude E7240. So let's get to it. All right, so let's take a look at the back panel of the laptop. Uh, going from right here, this is where the power port. That's where you put the power cable in. You have one, two. Uh, 3.0 USB ports. You have an HDMI port and as well as a Ethernet port, an RJ45 port. And if we turn it on the on one side, we have uh, a display port, which is you need a special uh, adapter to hook up a projector if you're doing VGA. If you're doing a projector with HDMI, you already got the port. But if you're still using an old school projector with a VGA, you got to get that special. Uh, display port adapter we have another additional 3.0 uh, USB port and we have a hybrid uh, <laughs> audio port which allows us to hook up a mic and as well as a headphone and uh, I believe right here is our SD SD slot you can insert a camera SD card so you can view some pictures and if we turn it to the other side uh, we have our um, ventilation system right here and then we have our enabled uh, Wi-Fi connection. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the keyboard uh, on the laptop. Uh, right here is your power button. You have your three indicators right here. You got the Wi-Fi, which is, it tells you that it's on and off. Uh, right next to it, you have your battery indicator. And this right here, the one that's blinking, is your hard drive indicator. So if you go to the other side right here, this one right here indicates your volume control as well as muting, which is, that's it. Those are the only kind of buttons that you got at the very top of the keyboard. All right, so let's get down to the actual specs of this particular laptop and why you should purchase it. Now, off the bat, it comes with a 2.0 gigahertz fourth generation i5 processor. If you have a little bit more money, which I'm going to tell you what's the base retail price for this pretty soon, uh, you could you could up it up to a i7 processor. Uh, the display size, if you are measuring it from tip from tip, it is actually 12.5 inches. HD anti glare display resolution is only 1366 by 768, which is kind of close to the 720p range. It's a little higher than that. Uh, memory size this particular laptop we got it with 8 gigs, uh, but we can max it out to 16 gigs because it only has two banks uh, to insert to two memory sticks. Uh, capacity on the hard drive, it is running a solid state drive of 256. But again, if you have a little bit more money, you can bump it up to 256. If not, you could get the baseline one, which is 128 gigabytes of solid state drive and not worry about the 256. Now, uh, the graphics processor is a Intel integrated HD 44 processor, which is not going to give you that crisp look, but hey, it, it does work well for uh, modifying documents and editing a couple of Photoshop files. Uh, the weight size for this particular laptop, because it's classified as an Ultrabook, it weighs about 2.99 pounds, close to 3 pounds, uh, but it's really small. Uh, now, the base price for this starting price, the one that we purchased with the i5, with the 8 gigs, it was around $1,800. Uh, but if you're not purchasing the extra memory as well as not bumping up with the i7, you could probably get it for about $1,500, which is pretty expensive. And that, now, $1,500 is from the Dell site. <laughs> and if you are lucky, you could probably get it extremely cheap other sites. Uh, I've seen it maybe for $8.99 or $7.99. Now, hopefully you guys enjoy this hands-on on the Latitude E7240 from Dell. Uh, it, it is a great replacement for a lightweight laptop. Uh, I know I showed you guys the Toshiba Ultrabook line for a while, but this particular user wanted a Dell because they're so used to Dell. So we looked and looked and we found the Ultrabook. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this hands-on on the Latitude E7240. If you have any comments or concerns, leave them at the bottom. Don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the video as well as this guy. And i catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.